are back, and luckily we've gotten a really nice uh, kind of phase diagram uh, today uh, here. So for this is a mole fraction of lithium. So this is uh, basically aluminum on this side, lithium on this side. So let's go ahead and identify some invariant points. So for example, if I if this phase diagram is really nice because it's all pretty much all uh, filled out except for this is plus yeah I this is my liquid plus FCC. Uh, let's see if there's any other unlabeled points. That's pretty much it. So, what are my invariant points? Well, I've got congruent melting here. I've got congruent melting right here. I've got congruent melting right point right here. And then what else? So, I've got a point right here where we're going from liquid to this. So, that's a eutectic. What else here? I've got a liquid plus a solid phase going to a new solid phase here. So, that's a peritectic. So, E. Uh, I've got a liquid phase plus a solid phase going to, again, another new solid phase region right here, this AL4LI. So AL4LI9, excuse me. This is going to be, again, another peritectic. Uh, and you can kind of start to, you know, if I wanted to make this a little bit nicer, eutectic, I'm going to do it like as a circle or like a box, for example. Actually, let's go ahead. And so, start my writing here. So if I have, so congruent, I'm going to do circle, eutectic, I'm going to do box, for peritectic, I'm going to do a star, and for eutectoid, I'm going to do a, you know, a kind of diamond or something like this, and then peritectoid, I'm going to do a, kind of, that's too similar, I'm just going to do a triangle. So. Congruent, congruent, congruent. We've all kind of identified those at this point. What about uh, eutectic? So eutectic right here. I have another eutectic right here. Peritectics. I've got a star right here. I've got a star right here. And uh, is there anything else? No, that's pretty much it. So those are all the invariant points on this phase diagram. So again, you're starting to kind of hopefully get a little bit quicker as we kind of do some of these practice uh, you know, runs. And again, we've, we've done this one before, but you can kind of, again, so let's go ahead. This is a peritectic. This is a peritectic. What about peritectoids? Uh, or actually, this is another peritectic right here in this diagram. Uh, what else? We have a peritectic right here as well. Any eutectics? We have also a unique one, which is our kind of peritectoid right here. So this is kind of very, very unique uh, point as well. Uh, we have another peritectic right here. So you can kind of start to see uh, where we're kind of heading with this in terms of this, you know, these types of uh, phase diagrams and identifying the invariant points. So know how to identify invariant points, know how to find compositions and fractions, and you'll be just fine in this uh, problem set in this exam. So I uh, hope this has been helpful, and then let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next uh, set of videos.